my favorite thing about Islam so far? Like, yes, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Um, what else? Um, Assalamu alaikum. person who brought me to Islam was Jesus. Coming from a Catholic background, I have always struggled with the idea of Jesus's divinity. I feel like there are a lot of philosophical dangers in elevating a human up to the divine. But in Islam, um, Jesus is just a prophet, but he's a really important one, and I like that. I really like my Jesus. So in a way, Islam has given me an opportunity to stand true to my morals and my philosophical understandings that are in my heart and stay true to Jesus as well. So we say Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Ashadu Mashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Mahavadan Rasulu Rasulu Allah Allah I bear witness I bear witness that there is no deity that there is no deity to be worshipped to be worshipped but Allah but Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad his is his messenger is his messenger and I believe and I believe that Jesus Jesus was a prophet was a prophet so by saying this you become a Muslim now um, I recently reverted to Islam and it's it's completely changed my life it's been it's been a really good experience and I just I, I thank God every day for it. I really do. I'm not perfect by any means, and I still have a lot to work on. It's a slow process, but I really wanted to talk about Salah today. Since reverting, I have truly come to find out, and I truly believe with every ounce of my being, that Salah is the lifeline of the Muslim faith. And for me, this is something that just makes Islam different than other major world religions, or in my opinion, is that with Salah, through Salah, your life, your day is structured around prayer and communicating with your creator. And I just think that's freaking cool. And like, just the fact that that is what he wants for us is to be constantly communicating with him. And I know it might just be anecdotal, but I truly do believe that Salah has transformed my life for the better. And I truly believe that I am communicating with Allah every time I do that. When you're prostrating and you're placing your forehead on the floor, there's no greater act of humility than this, period. I really don't think there's anything that exists that's more humble than bowing down and placing your forehead on the earth, on the ground, and in submission to your creator. Like, there's nothing more humble than that, in my opinion. So I guess my advice for today, take time and practice your Salah. Take time to learn it. And, um, you know, it, it comes with time. Um, I'm not, I don't even have, I barely have Surah Al-Fatiha memorized. Um, and I mess up sometimes, but you know, just take those small steps for building those habits. And he wants to constantly communicate with you. That's, that's, that's the point. <laughs>